Okay, now, now that we know that you were in the Marines, a train killer, you directed grunts to kill other people, you became a CIA guy, uh, what, a, con a contestant officer. How does that translate to being a Sifu in uh, Kung Fu? Well, yeah, martial arts, as I mentioned before, I thank all the people who bullied me uh, <laughs> earlier in life. Because I, I wanted to be just like the celluloid heroes I saw at the Sunsing Theater on East Broadway. You know, the Sunsing Theater? And you see those guys and they, they're catching flies with the chopsticks. I'm still working on that. <laughs> and they're jumping over tall buildings with a single pound. Uh, bound. I, I wanted to be just like them. And I had an uncle, Uncle Henry. And he claimed to know Kung Fu, and he made me stand at a horse stance, you know, at low crouch, until my thighs burned, and he showed me how to punch and kick. But I, I never paid attention to Uncle Henry, because he just didn't look like those martial arts heroes. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't until I got into high school, I took karate, and then I continued that until I got into the uh, Marine Corps. It wasn't until I actually reached uh, Washington, D.C., and I was working for the agency, that I, I joined the school, uh, Dean Chin, he opened up the first Kung Fu school in Washington's Chinatown. And at that time, this was before anyone heard of Bruce Lee, before, uh, this was when people thought that Kung Fu was something you ate at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and uh, it was great, because he opened up the school to people who were not Chinese. And he got a, a lot of threatening uh, phone calls, you know, close down your school or come down and close it for you because the Chinese martial arts community didn't appreciate us sh sharing our secrets with uh, foreigners. Did you ever, anybody try to test you on your Kung Fu skills? Ah. Well, <laughs> you know, I, as I said, I got into a lot of scrapes uh, in, when I was a kid and then I always liked to spar with people training, but I, I never had to use it physically, at least to, to, to uh, get out of a life and death situation. But I'll tell you one thing, Kung Fu gave me uh, the strength to overcome a lot of emotional turmoil, especially uh, in my career in CIA. And uh, it, saved, it saved my sanity. It provided a very good, useful outlet uh, for pent-up anger and pent-up emotion. So now, yeah, you mentioned you were bullied when you lived in Chinatown. Yeah. Okay, how old were you? Like what types of bullying uh, you encountered? Oh, you know, if you grew up in New York Chinatown, you know there are always guys that are bigger than you, right? Yeah. And you refer to other Chinese huh? or no. not both, Chinese? Both. both Chinese, <laughs> Italian. What year? Yeah. What year yeah. were you in Chinatown? <laughs> what years? In the late 50s, early 60s. Oh, late 50s, 60s? Did you go to Chinese school? Yeah. Did I beat you up in Chinese school? <laughs> I've been waiting for this time. <laughs> Let me, let, me, let, me say, let me say one thing. If you did bully me, I want to thank you. Because it, it provided me the impetus to study martial arts. Had it not been for the bullying, I would have never done it. <laughs>